All right, cell phone plans these days are kind of confusing. New providers pop up left and right with so much competition and options, but that's definitely not how it was 10 years ago. So in this video, I'll compare today's plans to those of 2012 from Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. The way I'll be looking at the old plans is using the Wayback Machine, where you can put in almost any website, choose a time, and it'll show you what that website looked like back then. So let's start with Verizon. All right, let's go to 2012. Oh, well, look at that landing page. I don't... I've never seen this website before, but someone's gonna have nostalgia for this page right here. So it appears they have two different types of options. As you can see here, they have the share everything plan, which is basically their postpaid offerings. And then they got prepaid. So it'd be very interesting to see how those compare and contrast. And also what the business practices were like back then. You gotta remember they had stuff like data buckets and data bundles and overages and all that. Stuff has definitely changed since then. So let's see what it looked like back then. So basically you have the line access charge. This depends on the device you have. So for a smartphone, you pay $40, basic phone 30, a jetpack hotspot is 20 and a tablet is $10. And then you pay that. And then you also pay the cost of your data buckets. So you got one gig, two gigs, four gigs, six, eight, 10. Look at these prices. So if you wanted just one gig, that would be $90 for your smartphone. Sheesh. Horizon, you, you finessing us right now. And if you need more than 10 gigs of data, you can add two gigs for $10 a month by logging into my Verizon. And you might need to do that because if you go over your data, overages are $15 per one gig if you go over that allowance. All right, so it appeared there are two prepaid plan options for phones back in the day. So if you had a 3G basic phone, you get a $50 unlimited plan, which would give you unlimited talk, text, and 3G web on that basic phone. But for smartphone users, you didn't get much of a better deal compared to share everything. So that would be one gig for $90 with the line access charge and the data bucket. This is all in one gig of data with unlimited talk and text for 4G LTE smartphones. That would be $80 a month for that prepaid plan. Of course, you got to add the taxes and fees to that as well. So if you wanted to use this one gig prepaid plan back then, I don't know, maybe this website didn't archive correctly or if this is actually just really sad. So back in 2012, you used that prepaid $80 one gig plan. You could only use it on one phone, one option. You got to buy it from Verizon. And that's this, oh, it's a 3G phone. So you can't even take advantage of the 4G speeds of the plan. So it's the Samsung Illusion, $150. And you'd have to buy that from Verizon to use this plan. And that's the only one you can get. So yeah, that's basically everything Verizon offered back in the day. And of course now their business is much different. Of course now we have 5G, but a couple of years ago, the industry shifted to a standard of unlimited data plans. So from Verizon to AT&T to T-Mobile, everyone's doing truly unlimited data these days. And that's sort of how it works now. And yes, these plans are expensive like these old ones, but at least we're getting like unlimited data and premium features. This seemed really basic and really bare bones, but now, we're on to AT&T. Content unable to load. I miss when AT&T had orange branding though. Maybe it's just a personal bias because my channel branding is orange, but I really liked when AT&T had orange branding. So my understanding is AT&T had two types of plans. They had the individual data plans and the mobile share plans. So these individual data plans, they aren't quite like a data bucket and a line access charge. Instead, you have a voice plan and then you add your data plan to that. So the voice plans for a single line start at $40 and then you'd add $20 for 300 megabytes to your smartphone, $30 for three gigs, or $50 for five gigs. And oh boy, overages are bad. So $10 per gig on the three and five gig plans. But if you go for the $20, 300 megabyte data pack and you use more than 300 megabytes, you get overaged the same amount as you normally pay. You get overaged $20 per 300 megabytes. Now for the mobile share plans, these are very similar to what we saw from Verizon with the share everything. So share data and you have the data buckets along with the line access charge. Now, something that's interesting here is AT&T has a different line access charge for your smartphone, depending on the data package you get. And the more data you get, the cheaper the line access charge is. So I guess that's good. And in terms of data though, prices are still really high. So the total, if you wanted one gig for your phone, that would be $85 when you add the data bucket for 40 and the line access charge for 45. Four gigs would come out to $110. Six gigs would be 125. You get the idea. If you really wanted to go extreme, you could get 20 gigs of data for $200, a $200 data bucket, and then a $30 line access charge with that. I'm just appalled that people were used to this and people were okay with this back in the day. Of course, now we're spoiled with unlimited data nowadays. 
for you know really really cheap but this just comes to show we have come a long way and of course once again nowadays AT&T offers not just unlimited data plans like everyone else but their unlimited data plans are really good. And in terms of technology with their network, it's pretty ahead. AT&T has certainly come a long way from this kind of ugh, website and these expensive plans to now actually offering pretty good value, especially with all the discounts that you can get with it. All right, finally, T-Mobile. Yeah, I can already tell this website is from a different time. Wait, they had T-Mobile test drive back then? I remember they introduced T-Mobile test drive back in, what was it, 2014? where they would give you an iPhone on T-Mobile's network. And then in 2019, they introduced Test Drive where they basically give you a hotspot and you can use T-Mobile's network that way. Fun fact, I'm actually testing that right now. I did not know they had Test Drive back then. You know, this was a different time when Windows phones were still sold. So you'd get classic unlimited, which is just unlimited talk and text. You don't get any data, no, no internet, no mobile web. That's $59.99 a month. And then with two gigs of high-speed data, that's 80 bucks, so pretty similar to the prices we've seen from Verizon and at t And then five gigs of high speed would be $95 with hotspot as well. So honestly, considering what we've seen so far, that's actually pretty good. But then you've got all these other options that just are not very good. So for 500 minutes of talk time, um, you get your 500 minutes, unlimited text, and your choice of data. So 200 megabytes would be $60 a month two gigs would be $70. And this is, remember, 500 minutes of talk time only. Remember counting minutes? I feel old because this does not feel like that long ago, but at the same time, it feels like it's so long ago because look at this website. So this one would have five gigs of data for $85 plus hotspot. And then this is the unlimited ultra. You're probably at the edge of your seat right now, 10 gigs of high speed data for 115 a month, not for the faint of heart. So then these ones are just 10 bucks more than all those and they give you unlimited talk and text. So that's basically how T-Mobile did things. So back in 2012, this was pretty different to what Verizon and AT&T were offering. So basically you choose whether you'd be okay with 500 minutes or if you need unlimited talking minutes. And then from there, it's basically just how much data do you need? And then you add the features that you need, you add the data that you need. That's basically how the stuff worked back then. Now, just like with Verizon and AT&T, T-Mobile's moved on to unlimited. And this is actually pretty significant because looking at what T-Mobile offered back then, and then looking at what they've done since then. Since the legend John Ledger became their CEO, he really shook things up in the industry with T-Mobile, and he really used T-Mobile to be an innovator. It's total bullshit. Now, that can't be said about their current CEO, who is just a big doofus, but John Ledger was the one who originally introduced unlimited 4G LTE data. He's most of the reason that your plan right now has unlimited data. And he was the one that drove T-Mobile and the rest of the industry to do that. So now T-Mobile offers unlimited data as well, and nowadays it's pretty similar to what everyone else offers. It's not really special, but it's unlimited now. And T-Mobile's network is also the largest 5G, albeit not the best performance. Wow, what a nostalgia trip for many of you watching. It's amazing to see how far we've advanced forward in the realm of phone service from the big providers, yes, also the dawn of more affordable and value-centered providers like Mint Mobile that we never could have imagined being possible 10 years ago. Old industry practices like data buckets, overages, and all kinds of limits are now gone in place of more innovative standards. And it makes you wonder, how will the market be in 2032? If you want to learn more about Visible's latest plans, click the video up top. And with that, I'm Max. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.